should we have ID cards? Well, Britain has always been ambivalent about the idea of having ID cards so that uh, citizens can prove that they have uh, a right to be here and have access to public services and all of that. Uh, we had ID cards during the First World War and uh, we stopped that and we also had them during the Second World War and Churchill decided they were too much of an imposition of on public uh, sensibility and so he stopped them. The Labor Party introduced them as a way of combating terrorism. I think that was about the time of 9-11. Uh, and probably under the pressure from the Liberal Democrat portion of the uh, subsequent coalition government, uh, it was once again abandoned. Uh, so what we do know from all of this is that we can't decide whether we want to be able to identify citizens and residents or not. But there are strong and impassioned arguments on both sides of this question, and I will now examine them. First of all, let's look at those who say, yes, we should. We should have ID cards. Well, for those of us who remember the famous Windrush scandal, that is when uh, people who had originally come from Jamaica uh, visited Jamaica and then tried to get back in and couldn't prove that they were residents here, uh, ID cards uh, would represent protection, especially for non-white people, uh, well, whose right to reside here after a trip abroad could be called into question. That's only a question of decency. Uh, immigration pressures of recent years have reconfirmed the need to be able to challenge individuals to determine whether they have the right to be in the country and for how long and what their entitlements are. Look, that's just common sense. How, how could anybody disagree with that? And uh, we cannot overlook the fact that ne nearly every nearby country in Europe has ID cards. Much of this came about at the initiative of the uh, European Union when the free movement of people through the so-called Schengen area was instituted. Uh, Britain was uh, not a member, decided not to be a member, didn't want free movement of people uh, in, uh, without any kind of checks uh, to come here, and it was therefore not required to participate. Once again, we are odd man out and losing out on the benefits that most European countries get from ID cards. Uh, also, uh, ID cards may help uh, combat human trafficking, a sad and unacceptably cruel rife racket that's rife in Britain. A group called the uh, Policy Exchange says that illegal immigration, quote, fosters a twilight world of criminality, dependence, and exploitation in which modern slavery flourishes. Look, ID cards are a sensible way to protect the British w way of life. We should have them. Okay, well now, what about the, say, uh, those uh, we should not, we should not have ID cards. We should not require ID cards. Well, to begin with, being required to carry ID cards at all time and show them to the authorities on demand is not a very British tra tradition. Many find the idea of being instructed to, quote, show your papers <laughs> at any given time appalling. It sounds like Nazi Germany in the old days. They are an encroachment on our rights. Uh, uh, articulatory MP spokesperson Jacob Rees-Mogg recently said, quote, ID cards change the relationship between the individual and the state. We have a right to go about our business and not be stopped and asked where we are going. <laughs> and in any case, uh, ID cards would probably not prevent illegal uh, immigration anyway. There is no question that such people will simply keep coming and probably nothing can stop them. It's, I'm afraid, a fantasy to believe that ID cards are the answer whether or not you approve of illegal immigration. And uh, on top of it all, we really shouldn't bow to the pressure to fight immigration. That's where the impetus comes from. At the end of the day, that's a racist position on people's part. Those who oppose immigration uh, of any sort, and especially illegal immigration, are actually saying they don't want white people in Britain. And ID cards could single out minorities who are always far more likely to be stopped and challenged by police and other authorities. And in any case, ID cards represent a kind of old-fashioned, obsolete technology. 
the same thing could be achieved with facial or fingerprint recognition eventually uh, using biometric systems. It's been done very successfully in uh, Estonia. And uh, we must not forget that Whitehall, I'm afraid, has a dismal record of delivering big technology projects and also protecting confidential data. We just wouldn't be able to deliver it. So it's not a good idea. Okay, well, of all of that, that's a tough and thorny question, isn't it? Uh, what's my take on it? Well, here's how I come out. Um, even though the idea of requiring ID cards and therefore the obligation on the part of any individual to demonstrate that he has a legal right to be here sounds good, I don't think Britain is culturally willing to accept the discipline and the authority that go with it. Uh, on top of that, the government's record in these kinds of massive IT systems is not a good one. It failed to protect a huge amount of information about citizens in a big data breach recently, and it can never seem to bring off uh, major IT projects when attempted. It would probably cost many times as much as promised, be interrupted by endless civil libertarian lawsuits, and involve resignations and all kinds of other political maneuvering and consternation. It just won't work here. Forget it. <laughs> well, uh, I hope you like that. And in any case, take a look at some of my other uh, videos on similar subjects. Uh, please uh, uh, subscribe and thanks a lot. Bye-bye.